Caleb's got a monster, an absolute monster on. Oh, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. That's gotta be a double digit, right? This is seriously crazy. Caleb is smashing them. He has the magic touch for the burner crawl, dude. I'm just the boat driver right now, but dude, he is absolutely killing it. Like we are on them. The only beauty of an epic Florida cold front because it's blowing like 25 miles an hour. There's white caps out there. It's freezing cold is there ain't nobody at the ramp because they all fair weather fishermen. What's going on? Come on, get hardcore. We got bass quads today. Oh, by the way, welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. I might need to use this in a second, but hey, we are gonna get out cold front fishing. What do you do? How do you adapt? How do you play the wind, especially when it's blowing all over the lake? How does Bass Quest adapt? We are going to find out. Make sure to throw him a sub. We are still down in Florida. <laughs> Oh yeah, just go all I can Ellie. Never give up! We won't do that, I promise. But we're, we're gonna try to adapt, maybe use some finesse. Tech. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Cold front techniques for winter fishing. Bog is somewhere around here being cute. Bog, Bog, come here. Get ah, so there's Bog. Everybody say hi to Bog. He's doing some Bog tricks. Great job, Bog. Thank you guys for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're gonna get this boat in the water. Hopefully show you guys some epic fishing and uh, I love this game. Let's do it. Oh, solid one, dude. For a net job, boy. How about that for a net? Then you just leave it there. Oh, wow. No, it's just decent. Nice. Guess I'm, I'm chasing Caleb now. Got like a four pounder. And now we gotta play Mr. Sneaky. Oh, how about that for Mr. Sneaky? And my bait is still perfecto. Probably not perfecto. Solid. I don't know how big. Eh, no, just a solid one. I got up the Magnedra. Guys, I wanted something a little finesse, but larger. And uh, first bite, nice little, it's probably a four pounder, three and a half, but just a solid fish. And it's, it's that bigger deal. I mean, we're in cold front conditions, so it's a finesse bait, but bigger. Sorry guys, I got my hood up, I'm all bundled up. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is not a cheap way to fish, dude. Like, it's just not. You do go through a lot of plastics, and these plastics that I'm using, this is a seven inch Gambler Fed Ace. It's not super cheap, and it's big, and I'm gonna probably do something that's like sacrilegious to it. I'm literally gonna cut right at the worm sack right there. I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna cut it off, and guess what? I've tried to use this part and maybe it'll work for you. It doesn't work for me. So I, I waste that. Probably shouldn't, but I do. But I'm gonna take, this is a, a Nichols Magnet. This is the JT Kenny Magnet. This is a, I think it's a 5 16th. Um, I probably don't need the brush guard right now, but I'm gonna leave it on there because it is super thin. It really doesn't inhibit me um, hooking the fish. But I'm gonna take it one little trick and this is only on the 5 16th and bigger um, net heads you'll notice that hook is a little offset on the jig and when I said I mean it's not in the center of the jig it's a little closer to the brush guard I hope you guys can see that so when you thread this bait on you need to take that into account so it sits evenly on the head and what I mean is I want to thread it let me get it in there just a little for you guys but do you see how it's a little I threaded it a little closer to the side of the bait than the center right there and I'm gonna show you why I do that. So we're gonna thread this thing on there, just like this, and you pop it over, and then give it a little bit of a pinch like that. But you see, it's not perfectly even, but it's a lot more even than when you're actually threading it through the center. It doesn't line up exactly right. 
but when you get it on there just make sure you're pretty straight you actually want to be more over the hook like you want the, the tip of the bait pushing more towards the hook tip than towards the back because what it's going to do especially in wind like this is it's going to keep it a little more forward so when you twitch it it's going to go back instead of it already like laying a little ways down the weight is kind of pushed forward but that's our rig right there 516s medium action i use a seven foot halo ti super sensitive but you just want like a rod with a little softer tip maybe a little more of a moderate play but super sensitive because dude half the time these fish you can barely feel them everyone has the right to fish anywhere they want but dude like give people a little bit of space like these guys are like creeping up they're they're gonna like pu like pull away point and all that i mean it's just there's no other dude there's the literally water. no other boats on the water right now like guys a little bit of respect we all need it dude everybody's all angry with each other these years and stuff like i don't know i'm not one for like all pc and being nice and all that or i i kind of am but like you know just i don't know just be nice we're all here to have fun so i like to show you guys some of the stuff that we're fishing and targeting on the graph and um let me scroll in here a little bit so the wind's coming this away so you can see there's there's a basin right there and basically it, it makes for a ledge it's almost like a little like puddle kind of deal like a hole in this flat and it creates a ledge let me scroll in a little bit more that comes upward you can see i got some marks we're gonna actually run over those marks i'm hoping there's some fish there but basically that wind's blowing up that that ledge and those fish it creates kind of like an underwater eddy especially when you get winds down in florida that are like 20 miles an hour because the only current we get is, is pretty much wind driven current and lo and behold are, they, are these going to be our guys here a couple down there you can see them kind of lined up they're not super duper lined up but we've also kind of fished them a little bit but you can see it's just it's a little kind of like up like almost like a little hip a ledge you know it's simple as that the bait's kind of up over it and they can come oh here we go there's a couple of them you see them right there and you see them on the bottom they just kind of line up and it, the depths can be anywhere from eight yeah look at them all all under the bait and then they're up there the depth can be anywhere from like 24 25 26 feet all the way we're coming up to like 18 feet right here and they're all lined up they're, they're all they're gonna pull watch that drag dude caleb's got a monster an absolute monster on guys this is like a stud oh my god caleb oh my god caleb you tell me when, dude. This is all, this is your game, dude. Oh, Caleb. Caleb. That's gotta be a double digit, right? Oh, that's no doubt a double digit. Yes! Dude, yeah. Caleb, bro. Two pounder after two pounder after 12. Get bumped, Mike, don't do this. you just had to trash shock him. Why did you do oh that earlier? God dang, dude, I'm shaking. Look at that fish. Oh my God. Look at that, dude. Dude. Oh my God! Look Caleb, at that thing. that thing. Get her in the well real quick. See, I gave him a burner cross. A burner cross to Ned. Caleb see bass quest. Did that just happen? On ten pound test, dude. You talk about a nail biter. See, I got two bites. Remember, like just barely like brim bites. And then as I was pulling it closer, I just felt one more light bite. But she was just there. Like I pulled. It almost felt like I hit one of those shells on that shell bar. But then I pulled into it and I was like, am I hung on the shell bar? It just barely moved. And I was like, gentle hook set, light hook, light line. No no reason to panic. Just leaned into her. We got that little hook. Didn't rip a big hole into her. Poked a big in, son. Oh my God. <gasps> Both coffees are don't hot. My hands are shaking for him. <laughs> It, it, I, you know how you don't like remember things? I don't know, because I was, so Caleb got dinked like twice like you were saying, and then I'm like, hey Caleb, are you sure she's not on there? And that's how kind of like reel down, and like kind of look around, and then just like lean back in his whole rod, but, and dude, you always know it's a big one, when the rod doesn't go, whomp, 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 when it goes, whomp, and then there's like a one, one thousand in between, it goes, whomp, like, oh, I should probably get my bait up. Oh, Caleb, I can't wait to weigh this thing, dude. This I can't gonna... wait either. Oh. First, that, that's really close. It's gonna be one of my top five biggest fish of all time. Guaranteed. Oh, well, we got nothing left to do but put her on scale, right? That's good, man. The size of that thing. I mean, she, she's angry too, dude. She's mad. Oh my ooh, god. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh, get her off the seat there, dude. Oh my god. Nine. 
nine three, dude. Nine three. That is the fattest oh nine gosh. three I have ever seen. Hold I her up real quick, dude. Just show it, show her to me. <sighs> dude, oh, do you see how look at the size fat that. that thing is? That is unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. All right, let, let's get her live on. We're gonna get her released. We're gonna get a couple pictures, guys. Most important thing with trophy fish. What is it? Get them back in the water quick. That is exactly right. Let's get her back, dude. Let's get her swimming. That is such a beautiful fish, Caleb. Oh, gosh, a slob. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, go turn into a teener, girl. Let's see. Oh, look at you go. Look at you go. You mad little thing, you. Oh, man. Son. That's a big one. Let's do that again. You want to? Yes, please. <laughs> Kale's got another giant on, dude. It's like a monster. I'm gonna have to put a burner crawl on, dude. <sighs> oh my god, Caleb. <laughs> Don't be freaking me! Oh. Put oh, her no. in the boat. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought she was gonna put herself. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb, okay. guys, look oh, at this. That's gotta be what, like six? It's another six? seven. I'd say six now. Seven. <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself, burner crawl master? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the burner crawls. Guys, look at Buck Buck. Look at that. Oh, okay. Alright, sneaky driver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a double dab because that's number two. Oh, a little I am sitting because it has been a long day, but dude, it has been awesome. Like Caleb is a good buddy. Make sure to check him out. Bass Quest YouTube, awesome Chickamauga fisherman, and obviously a trophy fisherman because he caught some magnums today. I, I gotta throw in this in there just because it makes me feel okay about myself. You guys know how this rolls. I had one that I hooked, and I hooked her. I went whoop, and she went whoa, 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 the other way, and I could not move the fish, and it come off, and it still makes me cry. On the same spot we caught them all, like we literally hit a window, I think, and freaking Caleb just had the touch, dude, and then he got more and more confident. It was so cool, and we're gonna talk to him real quick about what he was throwing and how he was fishing it, because it's kind of interesting. But dude, an epic day. Like you take your buddy out to like uh, some of the, the fisheries and the lakes that you love and he catches down, down in Florida and he catches his Florida PB. Like five stars, bro. So Caleb, show me what you're throwing, but like the thing I really want to highlight and I want you to really emphasize it because I was going to put up a video like six months ago, fishing deep and literally it would have been cast to catch. Like, like the, but the entire thing, because I wanted you guys to see how long it took to retrieve the bait. So Caleb, what were you throwing and tell me a bit like how you were throwing it. Once again, it's at Nichols. This is the Magnet. I cut the uh, weed guard off because we're fishing open water and I just want to make sure that hook penetrates right away. 10 pound fluorocarbon, super finesse on a bait caster. And then we've got this uh, burner crawl from Gambler. You can see with these kind of appendages, kind of like a zoom appendage or whatever, but no matter how cold the water is, no matter how slowly you move it, you've got motion in these appendages down there. So it's a little different than a standard Ned setup. You get a little extra movement down there on the water. And right now we've got tons of wind and we've had it all day. And what that's done is create current. So even when I'm dead sticking this thing, which is what Mikey's talking about right now, I'm still having motion in my bait. And that's what we're doing. When we throw this thing out there, I mean, how long do you think a cast takes? Dude, I'm talking three like minutes. three minutes at least. At least. I mean, we're, we're moving as slow as possible. Just barely dragging it a little bit pop it a couple times kind of like a shaky head kill it wait wait same thing drag it a little bit pop it a couple times kill it the way this bait is moving on the bottom so what we've got we got wind we got current today and what that's doing is moving these little appendages and so we're we're barely moving this thing it's almost like dead sticking we're throwing it out there dragging it just a little bit on the bottom and that thing's just crawling through those shell you know it's going to sit like this it's going to barely walk its way through the shell it's going to die and these appendages are barely going to be flapping in the current. I'm going to pop it a couple times, crawl it a little bit more, kill it again. And those fish are just picking it up. A lot of times I'm throwing this, you know, similar to a Carolina rig. You watch the tip of that rod there. I'm dragging it a little bit. When I kill it and I reel back up, that's when a lot of times we'll feel that bite or we'll already have a fish on the end of it. 
it's funny we kind of got going on that because several of the fish we caught we literally just threw it out there got a little bit of a backlash because the wind picking the backlash out you come back and all of a sudden there's a fish already on there and that's what usually clues me in onto that whole dead stick and don't move it kind of deal because that's really what they want they don't want something burning through there we've tried everything in the books today every reaction bait we got 36,000 rods on deck 36,000 rods on the back anything you can imagine and it's the tiny stuff that's gotten the job done in a big way i mean what are we sitting on now 25 26 pounds 25 pounds and almost a 10 pounder i'll take that any day of the week awesome day dead sticking in ed give it a try like less is more everybody's out of bog he's so done he's ready for dinner so to make sure to uh drop a like on this go check out caleb at bass quest caleb c bass quest as i like to call him throw him a subscribe and if you guys don't mind i know a lot of you guys watching this video probably aren't subscribed to the channel take a second turn on notifications youtube hates me always remember that and hit that subscribe button awesome day try dead sticking in ned dude less is more just let it sit there maybe shake it a little and then just talk to your buddy about something fun like beautiful women cool dogs drinking beer football you pick the topic but thank you guys for hanging out with us say goodbye caleb goodbye caleb peace out boys tight lines till next time